just all over the place. I don't know what's going on here, actually. It's great to be here today. And we'll come here to um, celebrate this wonderful occasion. We'll have a word of prayer before we start. Father, we just bless you. We thank you, Lord, that we can come in this place, Lord, in the presence of Jesus. Ask if all your blessing upon this time, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. We have our first song today, and it's all happy day. And it's not the old type of all happy day, it's a different happy day. So, better than ever, lead us in that. <coughs>
It makes it not quite right. We've got a little bit of a, a problem, um, and we'll sort that out as we go along. Okay. Good luck, Mikey. Would you like to? Come and explain. And then, if you'd like to explain, that was good. Thank you very much. Good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. I just need to draw your attention to the fact that something um, has occurred that a lot of you actually have no idea about at all. Um, and I think it's important I actually announce it now. Yes. You know, sometimes, in, well, always in a wedding, there's always a moment where it says, if anybody has any reason why this wedding can't go ahead, and you all sit there and you freeze and you hope nobody's going to answer. Well, there's something I need to share. But it's a good thing, believe me. Is this, that I'm gonna look like Eamon Andrews at this point with this red book. Do you remember that program that used to be on TV? And Flory, you're a man who's spent a lot of life in the Navy, you've gone all over the world, you've done things. Well, today, <laughs> I want to say to you that Flory, this is your wife. <laughs> A very good reason that some of you won't know, they actually got married on the 18th of July last year. <laughs> <laughs> and some of you have been invited here today for the wedding. Well, actually, it's going to be a wedding blessing. And the reason for that, that Florrie will explain in more detail later, and I got the embarrassing moment of trying to stop this uh, and explain, is simply this, that Florrie is such a special guy he wanted to respect the fact that Shelley didn't want them to live together but get married so that they could begin their life together back in July this year and then invite all those who couldn't make it last time so you can still have a celebration. Don't worry, there's a reception to go to, I think, anyway. Um, but to have a time where you could join in. What was that? <laughs> so... That is uh, the big surprise. Maybe you'd like to give these guys a big round of applause and the wedding blessing will continue. short readings but with a lot of purpose for today the first one's taken from Matthew's gospel and chapter 5 verse 14 to 16 Jesus said this you are the light of the world like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden no one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket instead a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house in the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. And the second reading is John chapter 8, verse 12. Jesus spoke to the people, his friends and disciples, once more, and he said, I'm the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness, because you will have the light that leads to life. Amen. So, as it being said, this is a special wedding, but it's not a wedding, it's a blessing. And I bet you've never been to a wedding or, or a blessing like this before. <laughs> the uh, wedding I had last weekend, everybody kept saying it was so different from other weddings. But you'll be able to say, well, actually, I've been to a wedding, but I've never, ever been to a one like that before, and you'll probably won't ever again, and that's all down to Flory. And Mike. When the toll is about it, I'm going, oh. 
It's nearly been a year and I've had sleepless nights almost every night about it. No, I haven't. It's a privilege, actually, because we get a second go. Not a second go, I don't say marriage, but everybody coming together. So what's happening now is we're having a blessing. So they've come together now to ask God to bless their previous vows and what they said previously. I'm just going to get my glasses because I forgot this is in small print. <laughs> George and Nigel Ford and Shelley Ann Ford, we have gathered together in the sight of God and in the presence of one another to ask God's blessing upon your, upon your marriage. At this time, let us remember that marriage is more than a civil contract, a social convention, or a religious ceremony. It was ordained by God from the beginning as the sacrament of human society for them to the mutual fellowship, help and comfort of husband and wife in prosperity and in adversity. Do you this day declaring afresh your love for and commitment to one another seek that it may be enriched and further consecrated by God's blessing. That says we do. We do. We do. I'm going to ask them to say part of the wedding vows that was said previously. I don't see the wedding. Um, so I'm calling you punching, okay? So this is, we're sharing this now because those people who weren't at the first time um, will have the the privilege of hearing the vows and hearing them commit themselves to each other. If you like to face each other. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Charles Nigel Ford. Do take thee, Shelley Ann Punchin. Do take thee, Shelley Ann Punchin. To be up to my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and, and to cherish. Love and to cherish. Until death is due part. Until death is due part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to, according to God's holy ordinance. And there too, I, I, I give you my promise. And there too, I give you my promise. Thank you. The bride. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Shelley Ann Punchin, do take thee, Charles Nigel Ford, to be my lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death us do part according to God's holy ordinance. And therefore, I give you my promise. Thank you. I'm going to pray with you. Okay. <laughs> Father God, we'll bring you this special couple, Lord. Lord, we pray a blessing upon their life. That 
that nothing will come between them, Lord. That you will keep them strong together. And that you will be their anchor, Lord, in the storms of life. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. If you like to take a seat.